Getting a you know a former player's perspective, it's always a little bit different. Some some of it confirms what we thought, and uh, sometimes it's like, oh, that's not how I would have looked at it. But I can see how, obviously, when you're doing it every day, it's different. You know, it's like someone talking to us about radio. People oh, listen they, to our show; they, and they have love, thoughts on our show. They love and, to tell yeah. me what I'm doing wrong uh, with 13 years under my belt, for almost 14 <laughs> years under my belt. But there's theory, and then there's the reality. That's right. That's right. And I'm I'm down to hear suggestions and things like that, but holy smokes, like sometimes it's it's a little bit out of pocket. And I, I think baseball I've said this before, Brett, and maybe you agree. I don't know of another sport that has more fans that think they know more than a manager, a general manager, an owner even, or and, and a player too. I, I always make the joke on Twitter. I did it last night. Hunter Brown was pitching for the uh, the Astros, and I was in a Twitter debate with a guy. And his whole thing to me was, well, look, man, I mean, these guys, they, they're swinging for the fences too much. You hear that a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a good point. <laughs> the, the, in football, you get people know, oh, they should have called a timeout there. Sure. But you never hear a football fan oh, go, you run I, can't, a post. I can't believe they went with that blocking scheme right. on that play. Right. There's, there's so much more, and fans never talk e- about everybody, those Everybody, and, and I'm not, I'm not going to call this guy out. He's, he's a truck driver, and he was telling me on Twitter, look, they need to go the other way like Tony Gwynn did. And I said, for the love <laughs> of God, you got to stop using Tony Gwynn as somebody that you can emulate because Tony Gwynn was one of the five best hitters in the history of the game of baseball, right? Mm -hmm. And Hunter Brown throwing 100 miles an hour, and I tweeted, like, guys, it's simple. Just go down the the other way. It's not. It's not easy. I had another guy say, well, the velo does the work. You just got to get the bat on the ball. And I'm like, (laughs) go to Boomers in Vista. Put a quarter in the machine. Put it on 65. And just you start serving balls to right field, it's just not that easy. Thirty five miles, and then an add hour. add thirty five to it. It's just not that easy, man. It's just not. Of course it is. It's <laughs> simple. Well, for, for you, for Brett, it was. For you, it was. Uh, 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 okay. I like anybody else. I sit on my couch and occasionally yell at the TV. <laughs> but then I catch myself and say, "I'm glad there's not a camera in this room because it would be humiliating." Um. Fans are fans, man. And I, I've i learned to appreciate fans. And instead of getting outside the bubble and yelling at talk radio, because, yeah, in a, in a logical sense, in the way it really is versus what a fan that calls in to talk radio is night and day. It's nothing. It's But fans are what make this world go around. Sure. The debate. The silly debate sometimes. The maddening, infuriating debate. They go the other way, (laughs) swinging for the fences. Just be like Tony Gwynn. He's trying to throw too hard. As much as that seems to my brain, like, at least get the terminology right. Then I click into, this is what makes the game so awesome. It's because fans are so passionate that they're going to take time to call this radio show to yell at somebody on the other end about how their favorite team didn't do what they wanted them to do. <laughs> and so instead of getting angry... All right, it's my mindset. I'm the problem. All instead right, of fight. getting angry, my mindset me, and saying, you're so, st- <laughs> you're so stupid, fan, <laughs> I think I just get a smile and say, this is why... I got to play this game in front of 55,000 people all the time because these crazy fans love this game so much, want their team to do good so much, and what will we do without them? That's true. That's so, true. so I embrace it now instead of, you don't know what you're talking Of course you don't know what you're talking about. But who cares? <laughs> you know, it, it's like, you're the reason I get to play this game. That's true. And and have these moments. Healthy perspective. It's because of you. And you have every right to have a, any opinion you want, no matter how much uneducated it is. Right. You know? Yeah. It would be like, right, it would be like, oh, I, don't, I don't, I'm going to scenario, it's just me going into a, uh, a an upper division master's class at Harvard and telling that professor, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. You don't know When you come to physics, let me tell you about physics. (laughs) Now, I can talk about it and pretend that I'm really smart in a layman's way. Right. So so to not make myself vulnerable, you know, I'm not going to get into theory with you because then you can maybe call me out. But if I just keep it blanket, I can come across as, hey, he's pretty smart without taking this class. But baseball, it's just, in, in sports in general, 
I, I embrace it now. Like these fans have every right to to spew whatever they want because they're the ones that get go to the games, get on a flight, buy a ticket, and go to a postseason game and yell for me. And and sometimes when I don't when I don't get a hit, they yell at me. But when I do, they're so happy. It, they yell for you. It's what makes this game so great. It's what makes East Coast baseball. You know, I touched on that earlier. Going to Boston, going to New York, going to Philly. Aren't they, aren't have they, them calling me, I stink, and they're going to kick my ass. Isn't it too irrational, though, sometimes? Can it be too irrational? Some, like, I, you think well, about... Sure, sure, when you get real, like, real anger, I mean, to the point where you're kind of scared and you want to hang up on them, like, sure. this guy's going a little over the edge. Yes, there's, there's a time, there's no reason for that. But just the passionate guy that calls up and he just wants his team to do, do so well. Uh, I think that's just being a, a, a real big-time fan. Sure. And we need – what would we do without those guys? If we just cut everybody off that doesn't know anything about the sport and can't talk on a high-level baseball, how many guys are going to come to my game? It's true. I'm going to be playing by myself. It's true. 